Hey guys, it's me and I am back and I know I've been MIA for six months now and I'm really sorry about that but hopefully I'll be catching up on all the last time and videos in these next few days and weeks. Um, and I obviously have so many updates as a person would for not updating for six months in a row. Um, but I'm not going to add them on to this video. I'm going to make a whole separate video for that because then this video will just be outrageously long and nobody would even watch the whole thing or even half of it. Um, but anyways, this is going to be a hamster stores video, all the things he has, and how I keep them, and where I store them. Um, and first I'm going to show you his food, and he's still using Hazel Hamster, and I believe I just started feeding him this when I made my last video, but I'm not sure I could be mistaken. And it looks like this, and, um, I make, I mean, I mix other stuff in there, I don't remember what it's called, and if I do, I'll tell you guys, just to give it more variety and change. And then, my room is really messy, so I'm sorry if you see the mess. I need to clean that today. Anyways, and then, in this drawer is all his treats and chew toys. Plus treats, he has all these hamster and Joe with treat nuggets, which we both really like. I like that it's not super bad for him, and he likes, obviously, the taste. And then under that, all different samples of hamster food. I have these Katie Fiesta Max, which occasionally I just sprinkle some on top of his normal food just to mix it in and these fell out earlier when I was filming the video of some of the treats so I'll take care of those later and then Kale Fetch can feed two of them and that's what I used to feed him actually and I still like that food but I'm still super happy with the food I feed him now and then over here I have Eco Cushion Frosted Donuts and they look like that and I think they're super duper cute and then Ecotrition Mini Cakes, which look like that. I don't know if you can see them very well. Which I still haven't opened, of course. And then these croissants, which I think are just adorable. And I love these. And these are probably the ones that he's eaten the most out of these three Ecotrition ones. Oops. And then under here are his hamster popcorn. Um, it's made for hamsters. And I tried to give it to him a while ago. And he wouldn't even eat it. He'd sniff it a few times. And then, honestly, he would just walk away he wouldn't even try it so i have to admit i was disappointed because how adorable and cute would that have been for a little hamster to just be watching a movie i'm not actually watching it but in front of a tv screen <laughs> eating popcorn i just think that would have been the cutest thing anyways and then over here i have these cr crunchy cluster treats which is kind of a mouthful if you say it multiple times um, they have these red things, and then the red things dipped in yogurt, and of course he only likes the yogurt ones, and yogurt's very unhealthy for him, so I don't give it to him very often. And this Extreme Select Seeds, which I love, because all it is, I will do the um, ingredients. Pumpkin seed, watermelon seed, cantaloupe seed, and squash seed, and that's it. Like, there's no nothing added, there's no sugar, no preserves, <sighs> preservatives, I cannot say that word, preservatives, there we go at all and I'll just sprinkle some pumpkin seeds on top of his daily food every once in a while probably every two days because he loves it so much and so do I because it's healthy for him and then I have these hamsteroids which look like that and obviously I've used quite a bit of them and they have lots of calcium in them so that's good and I also want to show you this so quick is this ham happy hamster book and it's honestly like it's really just a recipe book for hamster treats and stuff and it's the cutest Thing. I just love it so much and I actually made one thing out of it which I'll talk about it later um let me know if you guys want a book review on that because I suck at reviews but I'll try for you guys um anyways now we're gonna get into the chew toys I have these super pet crispy chews which is only one left this variety pack with different kind of chew toys combo chews which I guess they're almost fine and these ABC wood shoes, which I'm hoping he likes, as you can see, I haven't opened yet. Therefore, he hasn't tried them yet. And then under that drawer, all the things I need to clean this cage and such. First, I have bedding, and this is all the bedding I have right now. I just cleaned this cage yesterday, and because his cage is pretty big now, it takes a whole bag of bedding to, um, to fill it up and everything. So we need to go to the pet store really soon. Um, before next week probably because I clean his cage. Well, honestly, I clean his cage every other week um, because it's so big. Like, he doesn't go to the bathroom, like, in specifics. I'm, I'll explain that later. I'm not going to get into that right now. Anyways, 
And then Grassy Goodnight Fluff, which looks like this. And there's lots of controversy over whether or not this is good for your hamster, but Biscuit, I've had him use this ever since I've had him for a year, so he's pretty much never been without it, so it's just something that he's used to, and he doesn't stuff in his pouch or anything, which I think is why people don't like it. I'm talking really fast, sorry. And then this Potty Little, um, and then his Hamster Potty. He does not like the Hamster Potty, but I use that, um, Little, because I got it on sale for, like, 60 cents. Just kind of mix it in with his bedding. I don't think I, I've done that, like, once now, just to make it more absorbent and such. And then some gloves for when I clean this cage next time. I need to get more of those, too. And just a pet food, um, reusable bag. Reusable bag. I said that weirdly. Okay. And over here is where I'll keep all of his toys for when he comes outside of his cage. So over here I have sticker sheets to spell his name out on his cage right there, which I think is adorable. Um, and then leftover puzzle pieces to this thing, which took forever to make it. He doesn't even like it. Like, it honestly took an hour probably to put this together because every time he put a piece in, another piece popped out. Really frustrating. Anyways... And then this thing, which obviously it will not really work in his cage because of how big it is. But when he's out of his cage, he loves it. He'll go in it and he'll clean and he'll climb on top of it. And it's really cute to watch. And here there's like this little hidey hut thing. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's kind of orange because my walls are orange. Um, and then this like little ball thing, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Maybe I have like straw type material. And then the strawberry hut. And then a bunch of, like, plastic food bowls. Because every time I got an expansion kit for his cage, I, it came with one. And then I got the red one just at the pet store one day. Well, I think my dad did randomly. I don't know why. Um, and then down there are just extra water bottles. There's two extra water bottles and a tube to his cage. And then back here is a... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a playpen for him, which he knows how to climb out of it. So what it is, is he just climb out, I put him back in, climb out, put him back in. And then three hamster balls, which I know is a lot, and the container he came home in. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. So, yeah, that's everything, and I'm hoping this is finally the video I can upload, because I've taken this video so many times already. So, yeah, and I wish he would wake up so you guys can see him. But it's only like 12, 12 right now. So honestly, he wouldn't be really awake. Come on, Biscuit. He's going to be mad at me for waking him up. You can't really see him. Oh, there he is. His little nose. Hi. <laughs> He's mad at me. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's going to go back to sleep. Um, I'll upload a video later um, today of him out and playing because you guys haven't seen him for so long. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'm hoping you guys are still interested in my videos, even though I haven't made them for so long. Once again, sorry for talking so fast. Um, I'll see you probably later today for my next video, guys. Bye!